welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are in the kitchen. We are making a healthy cow flour, wait for it, ice cream. We are making cow flour ice cream. I'm not joking, we are, we are making it right here on the channel. And so it is going to be super duper simple, um, like literally a handful of ingredients a blender i use the ninja and you know cauliflower is really kind of a very it's an inspiring vegetable because cauliflower you can make cauliflower you can make a sub cauliflower rice you can make breadsticks out of it and like it can literally morph and so often i think but if cauliflower can become bread what's my excuse what's your excuse like we can become anything cauliflower kind of leads the way <laughs> And so anyway, tonight we're turning it into ice cream. And so if you are new here to the channel, make sure to smash the like button. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Join our growing community. If you have not, we have all kinds of weight loss tips, strategies, inspiring interviews with people that have lost weight, um, people that have had gastric sleeve and plateaued and then continue to lose weight, people that have struggled with their weight for decades that have taken control. And uh, anyway, all kinds of really cool things. You're not gonna wanna miss them. And so make sure you are subscribed, you ring the notification bell, so that way you don't. I don't know about you, I hate missing stuff. Don't you hate missing stuff? And so anyway, we are gonna put everything, we're gonna use this Ninja Blender right here. I will link, this is on my Amazon, fav my Amazon favorites list. I love this blender. It is much cheaper than a Vitamix and it does the freaking job. Comes with all kinds of attachments. I make my smoothie, it has a smoothie attachment, but we're gonna be dumping everything into here and I'll, well, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you down, put the camera down and we're gonna get dumping everything in here for a cauliflower ice cream. We have one cup of cashews that has been soaking. You can either soak these with boiling water for a minimum of two hours or you can soak them overnight. Once they've been soaking, and again, if you don't soak them overnight, you wanna boil water and then pour the water over it. It's best to use just regular unsalted cashews. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and drain these suckers and dump them into our blender. Okay, so before we put everything in the blender, we can't skip this step. So I have one 10 ounce bag of riced cauliflower, which is going to be equivalent. You want about two cups of rice cauliflower, okay? So we have some we have some water in a pot. We're going to pour this into the water. We're going to bring it to a boil, and then we are going to let it boil for about five minutes, just to make sure it's cooked, it's tender, and all of that. So we cannot skip this step. So just break it apart. And once it comes to a boil, we're gonna let it boil for five, 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 five minutes. It is boiling. It's been boiling for about three minutes. We're gonna give it another two minutes. And then we are going to turn the heat off. We are going to rinse this with some cold water so we can handle it. And then we are going to squeeze all the water out of it using a kitchen towel, or you can use cheesecloth, but I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna run this under some cool water. Drain some of the water. Then we're gonna take either cheesecloth or a kitchen towel, just like this, okay? You're going to take your cauliflower and put it right in the middle of the towel. We're going to bag it up like a bag of money. Nothing gets out, just like this, like a bag of loot. And then we are going to squeeze all the water out of the cauliflower. This is the same thing you would do if you were making like a cauliflower crust or bread or anything like that. So. And 
and squeeze. Then when we open it up, it's going to be almost kind of like a dough when you see it. It's going to be very dry, just like that. We just rinsed and we're going to put it all into our uh, blender here. Shake that towel out, get all the rice cauliflower in there. If any drops off, get it back. There we go. So we have our rice cauliflower in there. The next thing we're gonna have is this is coconut milk beverage, okay? So like what you would buy over by the cashew milk, the almond milk, in the carton, this is coconut milk beverage. And this is gonna be, it's unsweetened, like a quarter cup of coconut milk beverage. Will you put that in there, buddy? Yeah. Then we have canned coconut milk. So like in your international section, there's gonna be canned coconut milk. So this is going to be half of a cup of canned coconut milk. We dump that in. Okay, we have two and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract going in. We then have one tablespoon plus a teaspoon of melted coconut oil. Now here, we have a quarter cup plus a teaspoon of pure maple syrup. Can you put that in, buddy? Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna use a spatula to get it all out. And then our last ingredient, we have our one cup of cashews that has been that soaked, drained, and rinsed. So we soaked these, we drained them, we rinsed them, and that is one cup, we're just gonna pour that in. So everything is in our blender, and we're gonna go turn this sucker on and blend it up. Put the lid on. Okay, we're gonna turn our Ninja on, and then go ahead, buddy. Scrape down the sides, blend it for another minute. You can see how thick that is. So now we are gonna scrape all of this out into an airtight container, and then we're going to freeze it for four hours. It's very creamy. You can see that. Oh, I just want to eat that now. We can't, we can eat it. We can still try it now, right? So we have all this in the container and you can always double this recipe if you want more, but um, this makes about four cups. And so it's super silky smooth. We're gonna put this in an airtight container, pop this in the freezer for four hours. You can store this in this container for up to five days, but freeze this for four hours or until solid, and then we are going to get, um, yeah. So we're gonna pop this in the freezer, and we'll be back here in a minute to show you what it looks like. Okay, so, <laughs> see, when you say ice cream, 
Even the husband comes up to test it. So we have our cauliflower ice cream that has been freezing for four hours. We got it out of the refrigerator, the freezer, the freezer, because it's gotta be in the freezer to freeze. Now this makes eight servings. Now, if you're one of our clients that uses the color-coded container system, this is gonna be equivalent to one blue, half a green, half a teaspoon, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, it makes eight servings. Hey, do you think this is gonna be good? He says yes. He did say yes. Okay, so un serving, or would it be uno? Uno. Uno serving? Well, it might be un. Un? I don't know. Un sounded more accurate. I don't Oh, so okay. Serving two. Can we try it? We got yes, one. you can try it. It smells like nuts. That's because there's nuts in it, son. I know. It smells like nuts more than cauliflower. It smells like nuts more than cauliflower, he says. I don't have a spoon. Here you go. good. I don't know what I expected. In case you catch you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to taste. I don't know what it tastes. What is it tasting? Uh, what is it? No, there's no cauliflower taste. What is it? What is it? What's the servings? Not the containers? One blue, half a green, half a teaspoon. So, I don't know if it tastes like ice cream. It kind of tastes like a nutty pudding. Cold, refreshing. Like it's good, but it's not what I was expecting. I've never tasted cashew flavor ice cream. Yeah, it's, it is like, a, you know how like they have pistachio ice cream? Yeah. It's kind of like a cashew ice cream. And again, it's it's good. Yeah, it is good. It's, it's sweet, it's not too sweet. It's, I mean, I would definitely make it again. It's a great little summer treat. It's- You know what it does, it gives you, when you want something that's ice cream, but you don't want all the bad stuff in the ice cream, this would be excellent. Mm -hmm. Does it taste kind of like actual ice cream? And yes. it's, it's got freaking, it's cauliflower. <laughs> like that in itself is like, oh. Ah. Yeah. And so anyway, um, one of the things, there's actually a really healthy magic shell dupe that you mm. can put on this. And so maybe in one of the future videos, We'll make some more of the cauliflower ice cream. I'll show you how to make a healthy chocolate magic shell that you can put over this, and we'll show you how to doctor these up. Okay? Hey, why didn't we get that today? <laughs> that's like the best topping ever. Does anybody else want to see that? Let me know in the comments if that's mm -hmm. something you want to see. We'll do it here on the channel. Make sure to smash the like button, make some, turn some cauliflower into some ice cream, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>